hello guys welcome back to my channel this is a new video for the returning subscribers thank you so much and for those who are new here uh, thank you also for coming and yeah welcome so today's video guys it's a short video I just want to show you how to make a fermented traditional african porridge and this is what i'm going to use over here i have some cassavas dried cassava and we have here sorghum sorghum is mtama then i have here some ground nuts in case you are wondering what type of cassava is this this one it's just the, the normal cassava it's dried in the sun after after peeling the the outer part yeah so you dry in the sun until it's very dry like this one see it's very dry so i'll be taking it to the portion mill to be grinded and then um, then so our place ready here is a mixture of uh, wheat sorghum maize mm. wheat sorghum maize cassava and ground nuts yeah so this is the end results and the next step we are going to ferment it using this i have some warm water here so i'll just take a few spoons you can ferment as much as you want but because we are not a big family, I'll just ferment. I think this is enough. I'll add some sugar, not a must. Unless if you, if you take sugar, you can add sugar. If you don't, you don't have to add it. And then, the warm water. So I'll be stirring this and when stirring you make sure the the end result is not too thick or too watery. I'm using one hand so let me stir. No baby. Talk on this idea. Talk on this idea. Though, if you are a small, if if your if your family is not a, like a big family, you can still ferment a lot of it and then you dry it in the sun. I'm done. So this thickness, it's okay. It's not too thick. It's not watery. Talk on this idea. So guys, I'll be leaving this flour for two to three days for it to ferment. If you want to know if it's uh, fermented or not, it uh, when it's ready, it gives out uh, an aroma, a certain aroma, different one. Yeah. So let me leave it for two to three days then. I'll show you how it looks like. Mm, two days later, the flour is ready. So I've made my um, fermented flour into a thick paste and you can see on top of it, it looks like it has uh, some oil in it, that is because of the ground nuts. 
I don't know if I'm the only one seeing or you are seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah, see, it looks a bit shiny. That's because of the fats in the ground nuts. Yeah, so we have here natural fats and of course the water here has boiled so i'm going to make some porridge for breakfast i wish youtube could allow you to have a test through the phone or whatever you're watching so yeah and because i'm using one hand i'll just uh, then i'll show you the end results it is guys it's boiling yeah See how shiny it is at the top one might think i have added maybe some cooking oil but i haven't see it's because of the ground nuts here and it's the best way to get your fats guys like instead of using those uh, the processed seed oils which are not so healthy and body friendly you can opt for the ground nuts here and by the way the ground nuts after grinding after you grind them you can still use them in your vegetables especially the traditional vegetables like the cowpeas the spider plant like name it just about the pumpkin leaves just about anything else yeah any type of vegetables even the cabbages yeah you grind the groundnuts and then you add the groundnut flour on top of it it's healthy and it works just amazingly just as much as the processed oil the processed oil different is this one is natural yeah so guys i'll just leave the porridge to boil for around 10 minutes and i'll be good to go and remember i had already added a sugar when i was fermenting it yeah so after 10 minutes it will be good to go to be ready so guys thank you so much for watching up to this point thank you so much and i'll be seeing you in my next video if you're a returning subscriber thank you for subscribing if you haven't kindly please consider subscribing for more videos on lifestyle vlogs yeah so bye bye for now Yeah.